Hey guys, my name is Carsten Pfeffer and I'm a member of the Brain Connected Somuel development team and I'd like to introduce you to the Somuel World Builder, our map editor for the Somuel mobile game. As you can see we've got a canvas on the left panel of the application for placing objects and on the right panel we've got our entity selection window with three tabs, one for Somuels, one for entities which is currently selected and one for additional images like arrows or trees. Currently I'm placing the floor boxes, which are actually scalable objects, and prepare them to place a door, which we can assign to a switch later. By right clicking on objects I'm able to move them layer up or layer down, for example to hide them, and in this case I want the door to disappear in the block above, and so I move it to the bottom layer. You probably noticed that there are some grid lines in the canvas window. The grid can be activated by the option Use Grid, which causes the entities to snap to the grid lines. A new feature in the Samuel mobile game is the fact that there are some bad guys now, like the Banban, which looks like a hedgehog, a shark, and this red bird called the Herb Drip. The green line allows you to configure the moving range of the bad guys. Now I'm placing some spikes on the floor, which are scalable, just like the floor boxes, but only in horizontal direction. To let them look better, I place them behind the floor. This yellow entity is the no-jump area, which prevents Somules from jumping. Now I'm gonna place some Somules. By pressing Ctrl while placing the objects, the current entity type stays selected. By releasing the key, the selection is voided, so that the placed objects can be edited. Now I add a switch, which will open the door if Samuel touches it. The red point at the left upper corner is used to connect the switch to entities which will be affected by changing its state. If the map is finished I can save it and close the application. The levels are saved in an XML formatted file. Now I'm reopening the file because I forgot something. In the map properties dialog you are able to configure some metadata tags. First the map name, I call it spikes, a bird and a door. Then the author's name, that's me. Then the difficulty, this one shouldn't be too difficult. The points which have to be reached for passing the level. And finally a description. The two flags, visible and unlocked, are used for the in-game level selection. Now let's have a look at the XML sheet. You can see the meter tags, the sawmills and entities, and especially the door which is assigned to the switch. Okay guys, that's it for now. If you became interested in Sawmule, visit www.sawmule.com or write us an email. Thanks for watching.